What's up guys, and today I'm going to be taking you through my, technically a showcase of my custom set. I know a lot of it isn't custom, but like I'd say about half of it is custom, and the rest is not. But yeah, it's got five minifigures, including Grogu down there, and it's very big, as you can tell. But wait, before we get into it, I want to explain to you why I made this. Because some of you are wondering why I would make Custom Boba's Palace, or Jabba's Palace, whatever you want to call it. Because Legos already made one. So here is what I think of Legos. I'm not being mean to Lego or anything like that. I'm not trying to criticize. It's just constructive criticism. Not trying to like bully them or like anything like that. But I think the Bobo's Palace is way, way too overpriced for me. A hundred dollars and you're not even getting the full thing. Like sometimes I get prices. Like, they have big pieces, they have, need a lot of stickering, but when you come out with a Lego set, and you expect people to buy it, and you don't even have characters that were in the scenes, like Cad Bane, the Mandalorian, or my boy Grogu, got a problem and you don't even give Fennec Shand her helmet which the helmet only comes in the $140 set so that's another thing they put exclusive pieces in sets that are way too much money but yeah so I created my own set and if I do ever one day buy it I will do a comparison video about it but i probably won't get it so let's look into my set so like i said this is boba's palace set or job whatever you guys care about calling it it's got five minifigures you got manda i mean you got boba fennec mando cad bane retro boba fett in Grogu. So, five figures in Grogu. So, let's get into figures. So, the figures, Boba's partly custom made. I used almost all the real Lego figure because I think that's one thing they did to good with Boba is the figure. I think it's pretty nice. I gave him a Black Widow hand. Because I couldn't find his other arm. So I just put that on there. I think it looks really good on there. And I gave him a blaster and connected a lightsaber hilt to it. To make his blaster. Again a different one from the set. And then I actually made two Boba figures. So I'll show you the other one. Next we have back to tank Boba. And this is a custom figure. I used the torso from Han Solo from Carbonite, white arms, tan hands, Joker legs, a breathing mask here from a Hydra agent, the head from Boba Fett, because this goes along with one of the things I built, which is his back to tank, which no, is not very accurate, but it gets the job done for what it needs to be. So we'll move on to the next figure. Next we have Fennec Shand. I used the torso from War Machine flipped around. The arms from the Mandalorian. Some black hands. The legs from War Machine. A machine gun. And then a lightsaber hilt. I use a lot of lightsaber hilts to make my guns. I think they look pretty good. And then I gave her this helmet from Cole from Ninjago. Because, like I said, it's not accurate, but it gets the job done. And then here's the head I used from Ray from Star Wars. And then if you want to, 
can swip this hair on for Fennec Shand, which if you didn't want her with the helmet, you could have her with the hair, which I think looks pretty well. And yeah, I prefer her with the helmet. I wish Lego would have gave her both options. I think that would have made her a better mini thing. But also, I was I see what they were doing, trying to keep the one piece, the helmet piece exclusive, and I know it's a hard piece. It'd probably be a hard piece to make. So I get why that happened, but there's always room for improvements like that. Next, we have Mando, and I used the whole body from Mando, whole figure. Put this gun, put a uh, small gun piece, a lightsaber hill, and then this like black piece to make Mando's gun. And then what I did, which if Lego probably did this set, they probably wouldn't do it. I gave Mando his head underneath. So hold up a minute, guys. I made a mistake when I was going back and editing through the video. I forgot to tell you that I put the wrong head on the Mandalorian. So it should be this head on there. That looks a lot like Din Djarin. And then you can put this hair piece on there from Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne. And I think it looks really good for Amanda. So sorry about that inconvenience. But I think it looks like a nice Din Djarin. So yeah. It's pretty nice. Got his helmet there. Pretty, pretty good. And then we have Grogu sitting beside the Mandalorian. And I just used the regular Grogu piece you can get from the Tusken Raider set. You can get from the Mandalorian ship. You can get him from a lot of things. He's not exclusive anymore. So yeah, you gotta have Grogu if you have Mando. And Grogu... So, when you have stuff... I know... I don't know if this is true or not. But what I've seen from people trying to sell stuff and make companies like big money... You gotta have something that'll really make your buyers want to buy something so i included grogu and a lot of people would want grogu in the set because he was with the mandalorian so that is why grogu is here with manda so yeah next we have cad bane which i think is a really sweet figure design i used the legs from lucy from lego movie 2 Torso, arms, hands from Ron Weasley from the Harry Potter CMF. This gun piece there. Pretty nice mouthpiece here from one of the AIM agents. A cowboy hat here. And then the head from Cad Bane there. So yeah, that's the only thing from Cad Bane. Which I think he worked out. He turned out really, really nice here. So, yeah, that's Cad Bane. Next, I have what we call Retro Boba Fett. Or Retro for me. I just used the Boba from Cloud City set. You can use them from there. And I put these legs on there from a CMF. Give them some nice boots. And, yeah, I think he turned out really good. You can get him on a lot of sets. You can get him in the carbon freezing chamber. Get him in plenty, plenty of sets. You, you can get him in a lot. So, yeah, that is Boba Fett. And like I said, you want something to sell your buyers. So, put it on any figure in here. Or, you know how Harry Potter does the gold figures, like, for sets? Star Wars should do chrome or gold or like retro figures like how they did with the 20th anniversary sets like for Jabba for Boba's Palace put a retro Boba Fett I'm not saying this one don't put this one in their Lego put the retro Boba Fett from the first Boba Fett ship ever do that Lego because I think that would look very, very well done, very ex nicely executed, and I think it'd really sell your buyers. 
that, now that we finished the minifigures, it's time to look at the build. So, I don't know exactly what you need to build this whole thing, but I used most of it from the Harry Potter Hogwarts set there. I think it looks really good. It's got some nice doors, a nice pillar up top, a nice roof. I removed a lot of roof stuff, like the banners, a little tower piece. But, so let's start here at the front door. You got some stuff from the Harry Potter set. And you can, like, put a minifigure. So, say, you could put Boba here. You could put space. You can put space for just a lot of figures down there. You can have them walk through the walkway. You can have them like that. There's the walkway. And if you haven't seen this Harry Potter set, it can open its doors, and there's where the throne and seats and stuff are. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, you can put, like, Fennec there. You can put, like, Boba, Mando, a lot of figures. And the Harry Potter set has one thing that I liked for this kind of thing. It has this little bridge area. You can... Like I said, put a figure up there if you wanted. You could have a lot of figures there. You could have not many. You could have whatever you want. But I think it... I think it serves well to put figures there. So you can put, like, Cad Bane on the other side. Have him shoot him. Like this. Have C Cad Bane down here. You can have Mando shot. I mean, Boba. Bobo shout, I have the high ground, or whatever you choose to do. You can make them, like, an action scene, like, shooting each other, like, Greedo and Han Solo. You do whatever your heart desires. And then, we are done with that. So, we move up to the roof over here, which I took a lot of stuff out from the actual set. And, I kept these walls. And I kept a lot of stuff from here. And then, yeah, you got those. So, what I like to do is you can put Fennec here. And she can, like, shoot Cad Bane. Put Boba there. You can put Mando, Grogu. You could even put Grogu just standing here. I don't know. Put him here. Put them down here. Come put them on the wherever you'd like to put Yoda, baby Yoda. You choose. I'm sorry, the set is a little, little dusty. So yeah, that's a problem. But I don't. There's not much dust, just a little. So, but my camera really focuses on it, like dust between the crevices and stuff. I'll clean it after. It's been sitting on a shelf for a while. And then for this, I took these pieces out and just kept this one for a pillar piece. I think it looks nice. I forgot to put a wall in there. Very bad of me. But yeah, we'll get to the inside. So here is the inside of the palace. We have a top space here. We have the back to tank there, an armory there, some stairs, and a lot of stuff there. But we're going to get to those pieces in a moment, and we're going to start by taking a look at the throne area. So, the throne area, I put, some, a t I put a table with two chairs, so while people are waiting to talk to Boba, they can sit there. Got some blue milk. Just use the Lego milk piece. You can put that over there. Got a trophy. Got this, which I'll show you what it is for in a moment. Got a coffee mug. Got another chair you can put figures in. Don't know why that's still there. But yeah, those were Technic pieces for the Harry Potter sets, but don't need them right now. I got a kitchen over there I stole from the Lego movie 
two house set. Put a coffee mug there. Because all the Lego job of houses have kitchens. So I figured why not keep the thing and put a kitchen. And here you can store figures up. You can put Bob up here. You can put this is where I put Fennec Shan, but you can put Boba there. Have him look out. Put any figure you want up there. Got you can put a. I kept the fireplace. Think it's a nice detail. And I custom built this throne. I used very many of these yellow pieces. I still have tons of them. I built a football field with that. I will show you guys on another day. It is broken right now until football season. But when it comes to football season, I'll show you guys that. But for now, those pieces are being used as Boba's throne. So speaking of Boba's throne, I put these little pieces that I stole from throughout the Harry Potter castle. Some nice pieces there. A very nice brown chair build here that makes it like cushions and then I put the chair there and then to put Boba down you take his gun and you're like well uh, did you put a place for his gun and yes I did I inserted a clip on the wall for Boba's gun here if it would fit yeah, there you go. It fits there. You can put his gun over there. You can put some binoculars over here, as you can see. And then you're like, well, he won't fit without the jet with the jetpack on. So you take jetpack off, put his head back. You assemble his body back on. You take this little pillar I talked about to you earlier. You put his jetpack. Here, and now you have a place for his jetpack. And now, you can put him on the throne there. And I think he looks really cool sitting up there. But his jetpack there. You can have him just sit there. Watch over. Don't know what I did with Fennec. But you can put her... Like here. Very, very nice. And then that will bring us to um, the area over here with some stairs. I use the same exact stairs from the set. Which are these um, dark tan ones that fold out like this. So you can have a... Figure I'll just take Mando for instance. Just have him walk up there. And up here you have the weaponary. I put a bow there. Reference to like Chewbacca. And a shovel there. A key. It doesn't open the door. But if you wanted to you can make your own door that would fit it there. And then, yeah, I think it's pretty nice weapon area. You can put Fennec's weapon there. You can put Mando's weapon. You can put Boba's guns there. The one that he has sitting on the rack over there. But you could do a lot of things with it. It'd be your choice and not mine. But, yeah. And then that brings us to the back to tank, which I used this piece for my Lego mummy thing. You know this would go on top of it. And you'd put a figure in there. But yeah. That is what I use for the back of the tank. And I gotta assemble Boba real quick. To put him in there. Put his back to tank gear on. So here he is. You just insert him in there and yeah he can do his little breathing stuff in there which it's not much no sh nothing big but it gets the job done for what you're trying to do which is make the back to tank 
And then you got the little watchtower, which is nothing much. Use the same piece from the set. And you just put Mando up here if you wanted to. I don't know why he's not standing. There he is. You can have Mando up there. You can have like Cad Bane coming around to shoot him. And yeah, that is basically the whole set. And we'll round this out, take a final look. So yeah, guys, that is my custom Boba's Palace. Let me know if you think it's worth it, and if you think it's better than the real set. Leave your comments down below. And I'm not, like I said earlier, I'm not trying to put Lego in, like, bad things about their set. I'm just trying to give them ideas. And hey, if they wanted my ideas, I have a phone. Call me. I would be glad to give Lego ideas. I really wish to work for them someday. To give them brilliant ideas to make even more Mua. So yeah, I'm here Lego if you see this video. Just saying. But yeah, that is my set. It is very cool. And I think this set would probably be around... 120 110-ish dollars. Or maybe even 60. I'd say 60 for me. Because what I've known about people in making stuff, they make it way overpriced. Not saying Lego's the only one. Not trying to harsh them or anything. Because, you know, I kind of want to get in land someday. And review Lego Ted. Like I said, it's not for full time. But like, you know, the big name guys, M&R Productions, just too good, Ash and Flash. I'd love to do land Lego. Like I said, I'm here. If you wanted me to, I'm right here. So if you guys saw this video, hope you like and subscribe. Let me know if you'd buy this set. Yeah. And tell Lego, I'm always here for reviews if they want to send me stuff. Alright guys, I'll see you.